Hello everyone, long time no talk, unless you've been attending my live streams. I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about an issue that so many people are taking sides on, and most of them are uninformed, but I'm going to take this opportunity as somebody who is one of the folks at the heart of the issue uh, to set the record straight. As I'm sure many of you know, Nintendo's recent debacle known as the Wii U is causing them to look for alternative means of income. So what's happening now is Let's Players who have done Nintendo games are being content matched and Nintendo is getting 100% of the profits that the video earns in ad revenue. Let me first off preface this by saying that this isn't something new. There are numerous gaming companies who have content matched videos and earned ad revenue off of it. Uh, Konami being the main example that personally comes in mind to me, but there, I'm sure there's more of them. It's just that since Nintendo's one of the big three, people who didn't know about this process in the first place are just now learning about it, and there seems to be a huge amount of backlash concerning both sides of this argument. First off, I'm going to explain who this does affect. Let's players who were unpartnered to begin with and weren't making any money, their videos get content matched and Nintendo's ads start showing up. The second type of person this affects is someone who's partnered directly through YouTube. Folks whose content was considered transformative enough to be partnered despite the use of games is a little more than a backdrop. The one that mainly comes to mind is Far From Subtle, who makes the awesome video game series. They have a bunch of on-camera content, and the game itself is placed in a corner, and is, it's not even the main focus of the video, it's just a backdrop. These are the type of folks that are really being affected by this, because in the opinion of many people, if it was considered transformative enough to qualify for partnership under YouTube's terms of service in the first place, why should gaming companies reap 100% of the revenue for it? There's several stances you can take on this issue, but it is a valid point. Now, I'm going to explain to people who this isn't going to affect. People like myself, folks from the Game Station, the Runaway Guys, just to name a few. The reason why we aren't getting affected and content matched by Nintendo is we are partnered through networks. What does this mean? We're employed, and I use that term really loosely, by a company that is paid for the right to use and monetize from gaming content and are free to use this content as we see fit. We aren't criminals who steal copyrighted content without anyone's permission. It's not a loophole or anything unethical like that. All parties involved are paid due to the agreement. The gaming company who has given the network a license to make money from that content, the network who makes money from representing the content creator, and the content creators themselves, like us, who put in the work editing and distributing the content for viewership. All parties are paid. The short version of what I just told you is that we have the legal right to make Let's Plays and gaming videos because we're partnered through a company who has paid developers, like Nintendo, for the right to use it. It's no different than any television network, like G4, who pays for a show like X-Play to make money and use gaming content as an entertainment medium. Yeah, as silly as it might sound, we're a smaller scale of a television show. And just like a television show can be bumped off the air for lack of ratings or whatnot, there are rules and regulations put in place to make sure that these gaming partners can keep their right to monetize content. That's the gist of it. We're not criminals, we're not basement dwellers who should go out and get a real job, and for the record, I have a real job, and it's the reason I have a roof over my head, not my Let's Plays. There is a legal process that we went through to get involved with networks, and the people that are coming out of the woodwork bashing us, they're kind of coming across as folks consumed by petty jealousy. Why shouldn't we have the opportunity to monetize our content if we go through the legal channels to do so? There's a common quote that my parents used to tell me. If you can make any kind of money doing what you enjoy, then you're better off than 90% of the world, no matter how much you earn, large or small. Why is this bad? Because we do nothing but talk over a video game and it magically finds its way onto the internet? <laughs> Let me just go very briefly into the process that it takes to do a console Let's Play. Then maybe... Just maybe, some of the more intelligent folks ranting against us might have a bit more appreciation. First off, we pay for the equipment to record video and audio out of pocket, and that's upwards of $300 for decent quality equipment like what I use. Then, we commentate as we play. 
No, it doesn't magically find its way onto the internet right when we click stop recording. After that, there's the editing process, most of the time using software that certified professionals make tens of thousands of dollars using. For the most base LPR, sure, they might not edit anything. Myself? I add effects and filters to boost the video quality to match what it was before I recorded it. Sometimes that's not enough. I'm such a sucker for details that I'll add little things here or there like my boss profiles for Metal Gear Rising, all of which have taken upwards of half an hour just for a minute long extra. I won't even tell you how long it took me to make my big Zelda timeline retrospective, but it sure as hell was longer than an 8 hour shift of what people consider a real job. After all of that, we render the video. And this isn't as simple as saving a document on Microsoft Word where two seconds later it's done and saved. It's a two hour long process that if you don't know the proper way to make your render settings, it will ruin the video. And you'll have to start over. After that, still not done. Then we upload it, another long process where if the file is large enough, takes huge amounts of time. I put far more work into making a let's play than I do a mindless day of work for a pittance of what I make in my real job. Please, all of you ranters out there who are acting like this isn't a huge process that goes into making a video, please just consider taking what I just said to heart. Anyways, uh, I hope this has been informative to those of you who've been worrying about the livelihood of your favorite let's players. Or maybe open the eyes of some of you who've had the audacity to call us lazy leeches who didn't have the right to do what we do. I'm going to be working on a video that goes into detail from start to finish as to what we do and what it takes to be a Let's Player, namely the equipment, software, and settings I use. It's going to be one big giant video that's going to explain pretty much everything that I do from start to finish. I'll make it and release it when I have the time. Anyways, that's about it. Have a good day, everybody.